drilling a well offshore, right? You get a drill ship, you or you you run the surveys to try to find the right. oil under the water. Then you bring a drill ship over it, you drill it, you find oil, then you got to get all the subsea equipment and you got to figure out if you're going to have an FPSO or some sort of subsea pipeline to get the oil ashore. And, and, uh, but over a life, a lifespan of 20 years, eventually that well runs dry. Correct. And so, you know, they pull all the equipment out, the well stops delivering, and then you just get a call and they're like, Hey, we need to like yes. plug this thing just in case. Is that, is that how it works? So I get, I get called in when all the excitement's over, when all the money has been made and the company has decided, wow, we've got to get rid of this thing or the government's decided, no, it's mandatory. You've got to come in and decommission this now. So when I get invited in, you know, what they're, I'm being asked to do is to uh, evaluate the whole situation, you know, uh, generally start providing uh, methodology about how it's going to be done. But I'll look over the uh, the well PNA side and how we're actually going to plug the wells, what equipment we're going to use to plug the wells. Start looking at the pipelines um, uh, about flushing them out, making them clean, and either banding them in place or sometimes you're required to remove them occasionally. Uh, then on the platforms, we're either taking those out completely, taking out the the decks and the jackets, or sometimes we're taking out the decks and then reefing the jackets in place or at another location. And then ultimately also uh, making sure the, uh, the site's uh, clear of any hazardous materials or anything like that. So it's the uh, complete A to Z of restoring the environment back to the way it came before we in the oil business showed up. 